Hello again. Um, I will show the bar chart today, how to do the bar chart and how to format a bar chart with different options. So I'm using the IMF data population for different countries and I'm going to do a bar chart on this. All right. So how you do it is you select the data, which you can do it quickly by pressing Ctrl and A. I, I'll just you know scroll down to see if I have selected everything then I go to insert and to click this you know, click this and you can choose any one of them all right so let's choose this simple bar chart which is called clustered column right click that and it will give you the chart here you can drag this to make it bigger looks like it's too busy so what I would do is I would change the data source to a smaller set so it will be more visible say for example we want some top 20 countries all right so how you do it is click on the chart click on click on design and click on this select data now see your data range shows everything here um, a1 to c195 but we want some top 20 which is thailand up to thailand right so how we do it is you know change this reference c195 to c21 because the row number is 21 here if you can see and then click ok uh, okay so one more thing is it's also showing the rank in the chart but we don't want that rank what we want is we just want the population so click again go to select data again design select data again and let's just change this to B because we just want A and B column not C change this to B click OK now it looks nice huh? China India United States Indonesia Brazil okay Wow India is in really in competition with China now let's just do a little bit formatting of this chart how do you do this do you want the legend just population so you don't want the legend so click it and click delete on your keyboard or click right click and delete because you don't want it you can change the heading what do you want to just click inside and say top 20 countries in terms of population you can also bold it just select it go to home and bold you can change color say in red if you want to change the color of this bars click on them right click and then format data series click that and then you have this formatting uh, option here open up click on the fill tab here click on fill let's click solid and let's change it to something you would like I had okay yeah, I, I, I'm good with red all right if you want to change the transparency you can change the transparency too but I'm good with solid okay uh, one more thing is you can do different things here so you can you can add shadow so like that if you want shadow you can blur it like this you can angle change the angle of the shadow okay you can change the distance let's just put it here mm -hmm. and you can make it glow too 
so let's just change the glow of the shadow so just you know to show you how it looks okay you can change it always as you like let's just make the shadow a little bit more realistic which is gray right so this is for shadow and there are other options to soft edges okay there are 3d formats too let's just try one wow looks nice bottom bevel similar then you can try this no bevel bottom bevel anyone you can like and choose and there could be different material special effect standard and translucent so i'm not gonna show you everything today so you can try at home and play with it to learn more about it uh, if you have any question you can always ask you know, so leave a comment now let's just move it a little bit to the right okay so if you want the data sometime you want what's the number here how do you bring the number so it's easy click the click the click the chart go to design click add chart element there are many things you can add from here so what I want is the data level okay you can put it in center you can put it inside and inside base outside and data callout let's just put it in inside center for now or maybe there are some smaller bars so let's just put it uh, outside I think that's better that's how you have the data level what else you can add is you can add axis titles so let's just do vertical axis what are these numbers what is 1400 or 800 it's not clear so let's just put axis so a million this is millions of people right so let's just try writing it here millions people and this is obvious that these are the name of the countries so don't bother with that don't don't worry about changing the horizontal axis title let's see what else you have you have data table I will not put data table in here. Error bars now, grid line. Yeah, sometimes you like grid line, sometimes you don't. Legends, we don't need legend here. Trend line, we don't need trend line. There are quick layouts too. So you can just, if you are in a rush, you can choose one of those quick designs to make your chart quickly. Oh, I'm not going to change it. Okay, there are colors too, different colors. You can choose, you know, change the colors different to make it more attractive. Okay, that's it about the bar charts today. I'll come back again and do more videos for you. Check out my channel and please subscribe. Thank you. Have a nice day.